Hello, and welcome to Virtuosity. I'm Corey, one of the co-founders. I also work at the University of Oxford with the Oxford Character Project. In this video, I'm gonna be reviewing the character profile feature in our how-to series. And you can see here that I am sharing my phone screen, so if you have the app, you can open it up and follow along. The first thing Virtuosity asks you to do as soon as you log into the app is to take a character assessment. The purpose of this assessment is to help you discover what your character looks like. The assessment is based on the leader character framework, which uses evidence-based approaches to help us understand how our character works to inform a habit of judgment and decision-making. Now I'm gonna take you through your insights. As soon as you take the assessment, your insights are immediately available to you by clicking on the insights tab at the bottom right of your screen. Here it'll take you to your character profile, which is what is shown on my screen. The first set of results show your dimensions. These are the 11 dimensions from the leader character framework. They're ordered from weakest to strongest. As I scroll down, it'll take me to another set of results. These are my strength of elements. The 11 character dimensions each have four to nine associated elements with it. And you can see here that they're actually color coded to show you that, for example, vulnerability in this turquoise color is associated with humility. I can expand the 62 elements to show me all of my 62 elements, again, ordered from weakest to strongest. As I scroll down to the bottom, I'm taken to a third set of results called my character balance. Here, all of my dimensions are averaged, and then it shows the dimension deviation from that average. So all of the dimensions showing in green are above average, and all of the dimensions showing in red are below average. The character balance helps us see how our strengths can sometimes operate as vices when unsupported by other dimensions. This is a paradigm shift because we don't often think about how our strengths can operate as vices. Let's look at my insights, for example. Transcendence is my strongest dimension and temperance is my weakest right now. What this means is that my transcendence can actually manifest as a vice when unsupported by temperance. For example, if I have these big ideas, these big visions and future orientation all the time without the calm, composure and patience to support it, I can easily become frustrated when things aren't quite going my way or fulfilling my vision, which can actually isolate myself from others. And people may actually mistake me more so for an enemy than someone with vision. I've taken us back to the top here because now I want to point out the two markers that you see in black and white. Let's start with the black one. The black one shows your partner rating. In the Virtuosity app, you're able to choose a partner to help you along in your character development journey. If you choose a partner, your partner will prompt it to do a character assessment of you. When they do this character assessment, their assessment of you shows up in these black tick marks. What should you look for with your partner ratings? We all engage in these assessments differently, so you don't want to necessarily looking, be looking for exact matches. Instead, you want to be looking for similar patterns. For example, you want to see that your partner sees the same strengths that you see in yourself and the same weaknesses that you see in yourself. This indicates that you have high self-awareness. We hope this character assessment is just a starting point for conversation. There are a few things that you can look out for. One, if the black tick mark is significantly lower than how you've rated yourself, this means that your partner sees you to be demonstrating the dimension much weaker than you are. This is a good opportunity to figure out why this may be happening, and it can shed light on potential areas that you have for further growth, or it can actually help your partner understand how you might be demonstrating this dimension in a stronger way. Second, if you see the black tick mark much higher than your own understanding, having this type of conversation can help you perhaps have more confidence in that you actually might be exhibiting this dimension in a stronger state than you thought, or it can help your partner see your behavior more critically. The white mark indicates a group average. This will look different based on how you're using the Virtuosity app. One option is that you can be registered as part of an organization. If this is you, the white mark represents your group average. The purpose behind the group average isn't necessarily there for you to compare yourself to others, but rather there to support opportunities for development. For example, if you see that you have a dimension lower compared to other people in your group, this helps you see opportunities that you can ask other people for help. Whereas if you see that you have a stronger dimension compared to the group average, you know that this is a unique strength to yours and you can offer help and support to others around you. If you are not part of a registered organization, you're likely using virtuosity as an individual. If this is you, then the white mark represents the global average of virtuosity users. 
this insight can be helpful as we begin to understand what character looks like across the globe. You can start to notice trends on what, which areas are weaker and which areas are stronger. For example, our research actually shows that temperance is globally the lowest dimension across context, culture, and time. A few technical secrets to share with you if you haven't discovered them yet. First, in the dimensions, you can actually click on the words to open up the associated elements. So let's start with temperance here. This is really helpful because it helps you see all of the elements associated with that dimension, and in particular, if there are any outliers. You can shift through and look at all of your dimensions and the associated elements. The second secret is that you can also click on the elements. When you click on them, a description pops up. Let's look at calm. We highly encourage you to explore what these descriptions are. This can be especially useful if you're really surprised with a certain value associated with a certain element. This helps you see how virtuosity understands the elements so that you can better understand your own insights. A few parting words. A character assessment isn't always easy, so we hope that you're kind to yourself throughout this process. We hope that it's here as a reflective tool to help you understand yourself better and seek out areas for growth. And remember, if you're disappointed with anything that you see now, you have all the tools in front of you to help you strengthen your character. That's all I have for today. Bye for now.